Brothers, I've asked you to gather today. Because are you not bothered? Enough. An effort must be made to unite against this aristocratical tyranny of certain members here at Lincoln University. I've heard of a new fraternity started at Howard University. Yes. One of the fundamental principles of this new fraternity is the idea of uplift. For after all, it's the purpose of all mankind to influence other men. This could be the most expedient move to circumvent the unscrupulous attacks of certain factions and political onslaughts. These Howard men have created the exact organization that we have discussed hundreds of times. Do they desire to be nationally or simply local to Washington, D.C.? Definitely national. We should send a representative to Howard to share of our desire to fight corruption here at Lincoln. It's a little chilly out here. It really is good to see you again. Ooh, what you all have done in such a short period of time is inspiring. More opportunities for Negroes should be at the forefront of every organization. And I'm excited for your new endeavor as well. I'm excited for you. There's something about you, Mr. Coleman. You've answered the call for service and Howard is taking notice. Are we interrupting something? Edgar, I definitely foresee a life of ministry in your future. <laughs> Why is that? Because you always seem to pop up like a spirit. Please allow us to borrow our brother for a moment, Edna. Uh, not a problem. I was heading to a sorority meeting and decided to stop by and see the progress with the new furnishings. What is this all about? We've received a letter from Lincoln University. Several young men aspire to join Omega. That's exactly what we wanted. Yes, especially after tabling the request from the men at the University of Michigan. To have Lincoln express interest this quickly is a godsend. What do we know of these Lincoln men? They seem to have the exact ideas of true brotherhood. The one thing above all other things that Lincoln has always been noted for is the real live, genuine college spirit. Indeed, in all occasions where Lincoln is represented, the subtle influence of the Lincoln spirit is ever felt. They are sending a representative to DC to meet with us. Brothers, we must consider this. Omega must grow like a flame from an everlasting fire. The Omega sci-fi spirit must spread beyond Howard's campus. Never have I been so profoundly stirred. The establishment of Beta Chapter marks the heyday of Omega's early history. Brothers! It is obvious our hearts and minds are resolved to fight corruption and injustice at every angle until Lincoln stands as a fitting monument for our martyred president. May it be stated, whatever and wherever Omega may go, let there be assurance, beta chapter in the presence of Almighty God will forever strive to be men, promote efforts of uplift, Persevere to be scholars and maintain integrity, justice, and virtue. May Omega Psi Phi expand across the Union until every Negro man has the grand opportunity to be clothed in purple and gold. All